Preliminary English Test Listening There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. Which activity wasn't available? Hiya. Just back from the business trip. I didn't get to see the museum as there wasn't much time. The hotel where I was staying was okay. It had a really nice restaurant with a good selection of food. There was something to suit everyone's tastes. I was hoping to use the gym for the weekend, but it wasn't open, so I spent time at the swimming pool, which was better than nothing. Now listen again. Hiya. Just back from the business trip. I didn't get to see the museum as there wasn't much time. The hotel where I was staying was okay. It had a really nice restaurant with a good selection of food. There was something to suit everyone's tastes. I was hoping to use the gym over the weekend, but it wasn't open, so I spent time at the swimming pool, which was better than nothing. 2. How does the man travel if there's a problem? Could you tell me how you travel to work and why you travel that way? I usually get the train. I enjoy driving, but I only use the car at weekends when it's quieter and more relaxing to drive. I can work on the train, read reports, that kind of thing. And do you ever use the bus service? If the trains are delayed and I'm worried about getting into work on time, then sometimes, yes. Now listen again. Could you tell me how you travel to work and why you travel that way? I usually get the train. I enjoy driving, but I only use the car at weekends when it's quieter and more relaxing to drive. I can work on the train, read reports, that kind of thing. And do you ever use the bus service? If the trains are delayed and I'm worried about getting into work on time, then sometimes, yes. 3. What is the building going to be used for? So, that's the end of my report on this building's fascinating history. If you get the chance to see it, I'm sure you'll agree it looks wonderful now the repair work has been completed. And it's great to know the community will benefit. There was talk about it being used as flats or even a library, but we hear it's going to be used as a local art gallery. I think the Council have done a very good job bringing this building back to life. Now listen again. So, that's the end of my report on this building's fascinating history. If you get the chance to see it, I'm sure you'll agree it looks wonderful now the repair work has been completed. And it's great to know the community will benefit. There was talk about it being used as flats or even a library, but we hear it's going to be used as a local art gallery. I think the Council have done a very good job bringing this building back to life. 4. Which membership allows a person to attend a presentation? Hello. I'm interested in taking out membership of your book club. Can you explain how it works? OK. Well, there are three options. You can become a member for three months, six months or one year, and each month you'll receive a book in the post. If you sign up for six months, we will give you free entrance to listen to an author talk, sign up for 12 months, and you'll be able to join other members online to ask the author questions. Now listen again. Hello. 
I'm interested in taking out membership of your book club. Can you explain how it works? OK. Well, there are three options. You can become a member for three months, six months or one year, and each month you'll receive a book in the post. If you sign up for six months, we will give you free entrance to listen to an author talk. Sign up for 12 months and you'll be able to join other members online to ask the author questions. 5. When does the woman want to book a library computer? Hi, I'm just calling about booking the use of a computer. I was planning on coming in on Monday, but I understand there aren't any PCs available that day. I was wondering whether Wednesday was possible. I've been coming in on a Tuesday to work over the past few weeks, and there hasn't been a problem getting one then, but I'm busy on that day this week. If you could call me back before you close on Monday, I'd be grateful. Now listen again. Hi, I'm just calling about booking the use of a computer. I was planning on coming in on Monday, but I understand there aren't any PCs available that day. I was wondering whether Wednesday was possible. I've been coming in on a Tuesday to work over the past few weeks, and there hasn't been a problem getting one then, but I'm busy on that day this week. If you could call me back before you close on Monday, I'd be grateful. 6. What is the man doing on Saturday? Hi, Mark. Have you got anything planned for Saturday? Uh, yes, I think so. What are you doing? Well, it's Sally's party soon, and I need to buy her a present. I was going to do that, but Jim called earlier and wants to go for a coffee. I was thinking of asking him to meet on Sunday instead, but a friend's coming over with her elderly mother then. So I'll be seeing Jim as we planned and get the present later in the week. Now listen again. Hi, Mark. Have you got anything planned for Saturday? Uh, yes, I think so. What are you doing? Well, it's Sally's party soon, and I need to buy her a present. I was going to do that, but Jim called earlier and wants to go for a coffee. I was thinking of asking him to meet on Sunday instead, but a friend's coming over with her elderly mother then. So I'll be seeing Jim as we planned and get the present later in the week. 7. Which item of food has the man's mother tried before? I'm not sure what to take back for Mum from our holiday. Hmm. What does she like? I could get her a packet of those biscuits I bought for her last year. She liked them. What about some of that cheese we saw in the shop? She'd love that, but I'm not sure it would stay fresh. No, on second thoughts, I think I'll get her some chocolate. Now listen again. I'm not sure what to take back for Mum from our holiday. Hmm. What does she like? I could get her a packet of those biscuits I bought for her last year. She liked them. What about some of that cheese we saw in the shop? She'd love that, but I'm not sure it would stay fresh. No, on second thoughts, I think I'll get her some chocolate. That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. 8. You will hear two friends talking about a trip to the theatre. So, are you ready for the theatre this evening? I can't wait. Yes, I'm really excited too. It's been a while since I went to the theatre. Don't forget your student ID, will you? They always ask to see it before they give you the student discount. OK. I'll remind the others in case they forget. I'll text them in a minute. 
And it's only offered to full-time students, remember? Some of our friends are only part-time. OK. It's only Tahira who is full-time, so I'll let her know. Now listen again. So, are you ready for the theatre this evening? I can't wait. Yes, I'm really excited too. It's been a while since I went to the theatre. Don't forget your student ID, will you? They always ask to see it before they give you the student discount. OK. I'll remind the others in case they forget. I'll text them in a minute. And it's only offered to full-time students, remember? Some of our friends are only part-time. OK. It's only Tahira who is full-time, so I'll let her know. 9. You will hear two friends talking about the man's job. I'm going to that employment event in town tomorrow. Really? Are you looking for a new job? I always thought you enjoyed it where you work. Well, I'm thinking of having a change of career. I've been working as an accountant for years now, and I feel like doing something different. I've got a few friends who are teachers, and they think I'd enjoy doing something like that. It would mean a lower salary, but that's okay. So I'm just going to find out about the qualifications I need. Now listen again. I'm going to that employment event in town tomorrow. Really? Are you looking for a new job? I always thought you enjoyed it where you work. Well, I'm thinking of having a change of career. I've been working as an accountant for years now, and I feel like doing something different. I've got a few friends who are teachers, and they think I'd enjoy doing something like that. It would mean a lower salary, but that's OK. So I'm just going to find out about the qualifications I need. 10. You will hear a husband and wife talking about breakfast. OK. My turn to make breakfast, I think. What would you like? I'd love a bowl of cereal, but the last time I looked in the cupboard, we'd run out. Did you get any when you went shopping? No, I forgot to put that on the list. Sorry. How about some ham and cheese? Yes, that would be nice. We could use some of that nice bread you bought. And can I have coffee for a change instead of tea? Okay. Oh, I'm feeling quite hungry now. Now listen again. OK. My turn to make breakfast, I think. What would you like? I'd love a bowl of cereal, but the last time I looked in the cupboard, we'd run out. Did you get any when you went shopping? No, I forgot to put that on the list. Sorry. How about some ham and cheese? Yes, that would be nice. We could use some of that nice bread you bought. And can I have coffee for a change instead of tea? OK. Oh, I'm feeling quite hungry now. 11. You will hear two friends talking about buying a bed. I need to get a new bed for my flat. Is there anywhere you can recommend? Uh, the furniture store in town has some, and they're good quality. Really? I might go there later. I was thinking of looking online, but it's difficult to tell how comfortable they'd be if you can't try them out first. Mm. Well, you might find a bargain that way. You could try one out in the shop, and then order the same one online if you find one that costs less than the shop. Good idea. I might do that. Now listen again. I need to get a new bed for my flat. Is there anywhere you can recommend? Uh, the furniture store in town has some, and they're good quality. Really? I might go there later. I was thinking of looking online, but it's difficult to tell how comfortable they'd be if you can't try them out first. Mm. Well, you might find a bargain that way. 
You could try one out in the shop and then order the same one online if you find one that costs less than the shop. Good idea. I might do that. 12. You will hear two friends talking about going for a walk. I feel like getting outside in the country today and having a fast walk. Do you fancy joining me? I'm not sure. We might need to take our umbrellas. The weather forecast says there's going to be heavy rain. I know. I just checked. But it's not expected until later this afternoon, so I'll just take my jacket. Anyway, a bit of rain won't hurt you, and the fresh air will be good for us. Yes, I suppose so. And I've got nothing to do today. So let's go now, shall we? Now listen again. I feel like getting outside in the country today and having a fast walk. Do you fancy joining me? I'm not sure. We might need to take our umbrellas. The weather forecast says there's going to be heavy rain. I know. I just checked. But it's not expected until later this afternoon, so I'll just take my jacket. Anyway, a bit of rain won't hurt you, and the fresh air will be good for us. Yes, I suppose so. And I've got nothing to do today. So let's go now, shall we? 13. You will hear two friends talking about a passport photograph. I need to get a new passport before we go on holiday. Where can I get my photograph taken? There's a machine in the pharmacy round the corner, but I think it's out of order. I saw someone asking one of the shop assistants for help last week. Oh, that's a pity. I might have to go into town. There are a lot of places in town. I know you can get it done in the post office. That one probably works okay. And if you want one that's open in the evening, you could try the machine at the train station. Now listen again. I need to get a new passport before we go on holiday. Where can I get my photograph taken? There's a machine in the pharmacy round the corner, but I think it's out of order. I saw someone asking one of the shop assistants for help last week. Oh, that's a pity. I might have to go into town. There are a lot of places in town. I know you can get it done in the post office. That one probably works okay. And if you want one that's open in the evening, you could try the machine at the train station. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, Write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 14 to 19 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear a man called Russell talking about a new club in the community centre. And finally, news of an interesting club that started recently and meets here every week. The Speakers Club is aimed at anyone who needs to develop their public speaking skills. Perhaps you have to give talks to colleagues at work or need to practice a presentation you have prepared for a job interview. The Speakers Club offers a weekly meeting in the main hall where members can learn from each other as well as through talks given by highly experienced speakers from the world of business or entertainment. We look at everything from body language and eye contact to storytelling and delivery. A typical session starts at seven with tea, coffee and biscuits before we listen to the speaker and start looking at a particular topic. 
Members are then given the chance to change a presentation they've prepared before the session so that it includes the ideas presented by the speaker. We also invite you to enter one of our speech competitions each year. We understand that clubs like ours might not suit everyone, and we like to give you the chance to see for yourself how we operate before you join. So, we invite anyone to attend their first session for free. However, in order for us to manage the numbers of people attending, please make sure you reserve a place first, or you may not be able to attend. If you do decide to join us, annual membership is £170 per year. Arrangements can be made to pay the membership fee once a month. Membership allows you to attend all sessions during the year and gives you access to private areas of the website and the chance to take part in our social events. Now listen again. And finally, news of an interesting club that started recently and meets here every week. The Speakers Club is aimed at anyone who needs to develop their public speaking skills. Perhaps you have to give talks to colleagues at work or need to practice a presentation you have prepared for a job interview. The Speakers Club offers a weekly meeting in the main hall where members can learn from each other as well as through talks given by highly experienced speakers from the world of business or entertainment. We look at everything from body language and eye contact to storytelling and delivery. A typical session starts at 7 with tea, coffee and biscuits before we listen to speaker and start looking at a particular topic. Members are then given the chance to change a presentation they've prepared before the session so that it includes the ideas presented by the speaker. We also invite you to enter one of our speech competitions each year. We understand that clubs like ours might not suit everyone, and we like to give you the chance to see for yourself how we operate before you join. So, we invite anyone to attend their first session for free. However, in order for us to manage the numbers of people attending, please make sure you reserve a place first, or you may not be able to attend. If you do decide to join us, annual membership is £170 per year. Arrangements can be made to pay the membership fee once a month. Membership allows you to attend all sessions during the year and gives you access to private areas of the website and the chance to take part in our social events. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 20 to 25 now. You have 45 seconds. You will hear an interview with a student called Emily, who walks people's dogs. Hi everyone. Today on Student Radio, I'm talking to someone who has solved her financial problems at university by starting her own business. Isn't that right, Emily? 
Well, I'm not sure I'd call it a business actually, but it has certainly helped me to buy a few books and a meal or takeaway once a week while I'm studying at university. I offer to walk people's dogs, people who either can't leave their homes easily or are out at work during the day. What gave you the idea? I was talking to my neighbour one day and she told me about a friend of hers who had just come out of hospital and wasn't able to take her dog out for its daily walk. I thought it would be a kind thing to do to offer to help. I didn't even think about charging her, but she insisted on giving me a few pounds. <laughs> so how did this develop into you becoming a dog walker? After I'd done it for a few weeks, I realised what a pleasant way it was to earn a little money. But most importantly, I thought I'd be able to fit it in around my studies at university. So I decided to put an advert in a few of the local shops to see if there was any interest. And was it successful? It took a while before I heard from anyone new. But then one day I got a phone call from an old lady asking to meet me. I offered to go to her home, but she suggested meeting in the local park so she could see how I was with her dog. We got on really well, and the woman booked me to take the dog out every weekend. Ah, and have you taken on any more customers? That was about six months ago, and now I walk three more dogs. I was expecting to hear from people who had a busy work life and needed help, but all my customers are older people and their dogs have been trained well and are a pleasure to walk. What a brilliant idea! And for anyone listening, do you have a set fee? At first, I thought about having an hourly fee and that's what my friends recommended. But I enjoy what I'm doing and I know that there are some customers, especially older people, who might not be able to afford to pay much. So, we just agree an amount when we first meet. Now listen again. Hi everyone. Today on Student Radio, I'm talking to someone who has solved her financial problems at university by starting her own business. Isn't that right, Emily? Well, I'm not sure I'd call it a business actually, but it has certainly helped me to buy a few books and a meal or takeaway once a week while I'm studying at university. I offer to walk people's dogs, people who either can't leave their homes easily or are out at work during the day. What gave you the idea? I was talking to my neighbour one day and she told me about a friend of hers who had just come out of hospital and wasn't able to take her dog out for its daily walk. I thought it would be a kind thing to do to offer to help. I didn't even think about charging her, but she insisted on giving me a few pounds. <laughs> so how did this develop into you becoming a dog walker? After I'd done it for a few weeks, I realised what a pleasant way it was to earn a little money. But most importantly, I thought I'd be able to fit it in around my studies at university. So I decided to put an advert in a few of the local shops to see if there was any interest. And was it successful? It took a while before I heard from anyone new. But then one day I got a phone call from an old lady asking to meet me. I offered to go to her home, but she suggested meeting in the local park so she could see how I was with her dog. We got on really well, and the woman booked me to take the dog out every weekend. Ah. And have you taken on any more customers? That was about six months ago, and now I walk three more dogs. I was expecting to hear from people who had a busy work life and needed help, but all my customers are older people and their dogs have been trained well and are a pleasure to walk. What a brilliant idea! And for anyone listening, do you have a set fee? At first, I thought about having an hourly fee and that's what my friends recommended. But I enjoy what I'm doing and I know that there are some customers, especially older people, who might not be able to afford to pay much. So, we just agree an amount when we first meet. 
That is the end of part four. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. That is the end of the test.